Flaco, my dad, we were watching um, Saturday Night Live, and Flaco came out on, on Saturday Night Live, man, and uh, him and uh, I, could, I, I don't remember who was playing at the time, I think uh, Big Red and, and uh, Isaac Garcia on the drums, and, and my dad says, man, that's, that's music right there, listen to that, you know, and so we, we, we listened to Flaco play uh, Viva Seguin on Saturday Night Live, man. <laughs> so, and uh, my, my dad said, we're going to go see him. I'm going to take you to see Flaco. So um, even though my dad was, you know, he was, at the time, he was retired. Uh, um, he had retired and uh, played music. Oh, no, actually, he was still playing. He was still playing, yeah, because uh, I played with my dad till, till about the age of 12. So uh, we'd go to uh, Lubbock, Texas. He'd take us. To me and my brother to Lubbock, Texas, and Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Baca, and uh, to hear Flacco play. And in them days, uh, Flacco would play Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and every night was, was sold out. You know, packed house. You know, Flacco. They had Flacco. They had him a name. They, they used to call him Eliana Salones. That was his nickname, Eliana, Eliana Salones. You know, so he would just pack it in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, man. And so we would. Every time Flacco would play there, he, my dad would take us to go to go hear Flacco play, man. And, um, and I was, man, I'd get goosebumps, man, you know, right when these guys were just about to get up on the stage, you know, I'm seven years old, man, and me and my brother, you know, and and uh, we'd walk up to the stage, and here goes Flacco with a strap on his accordion, man, you know, and just a couple of speakers, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and amplifiers, and uh, the conjunto, and boom, they just kick it in, and man, you know, it was... I, I, it was just a, an attraction that, that um, I can, you know, that I loved, you know. And it happened uh, uh, th at that time. Uh, I knew that uh, Max and, and and Jimmy, you know, it was a Los Hermanos Baca. So uh, I uh, decided to uh, invite them on stage in the Fronterizo in Lubbock, you know. And uh, they, they played uh, a few tunes or whatever, you know, and uh, people went crazy, man. I mean, to see two young kids, I mean, just tearing it up and, and doing doing it right, you know. Did you know Flacco was gonna invite you on stage? No, no, it was like, uh, you know. No, he invites me <laughs> on stage. <laughs> <laughs> It was like one of my my dream to my dream, you know, and you know, cause we'd stand there in the front of the stage, you know, and just watch Flacco tear it up, man, you know, and uh, and the bajo player, and then I was attracted to the bajo sound, you know, and um, and it was my dream, you know, and, but, man, my ultimate dream, you know, to play with uh, to play with Flacco Jimenez, you know. So when did your dream come true? Twenty years later. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty years later, yeah. I became his bajo player. You know, and we're still recording, uh, and we uh, tour once in a while, and uh, we jam away. You know, when when the time when time comes, you know, we'll get together and do some recordings and. Uh, very very important because Flaco, um, he kind of uh, took me under his wing. You know. Uh, it kind of nurtured me up to to play the bajo sexto because um, I learned to play, you know, back then when I was seven years old, whatever. Uh, but then uh, years later, 20 years later, Flaco he invited me to play with his his band. Um, he uh, he taught me he actually taught me how to play the bajo sexto the right way, you know. Um, Not left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most bajo sexto players nowadays they uh, they don't use the the, the bass strings. You know, the, all the twelve strings. And and uh, back then I would I would take my strings off. You know, because I was in the fad what all the other bajo players were doing. You know, and so forth. And Flaco says, No, man, there's a reason why them strings why they make twelve strings. <laughs> you know, so you have to you have to play the bajo with all the bajad. You know, all the twelve strings. So you know. 
flaco, he actually sat down and showed me, you know, some bajo pisadas, you know, and licks and whatever, you know, and, and the arpeggios and, and um, some techniques that were the original, the original style of playing the bajo. Flaco, because you know, Flaco, of course, he used to, you know, he would play, he would accompanyar his father también, you know, so he knew that bajo sexto, and, and he would say, no, this is the right way, man, so, so, um, yeah, Flaco, I would have to say, Flaco was the one that actually showed me the, the right way how to play the bajo. Yeah, I, I learned, but the right way was the way Flaco showed me.